bad news. There's a flood. Flood. Will I be able to get through it? I don't know. Oh dear. That's meant to be fields there. I'll probably be leaving this job in a couple of weeks, so I don't, I'm quite alright taking a van for a flood. <laughs> it makes me laugh how people just go through but still in two lanes and just sort of completely drench each other going several ways with their bow waves. It's about to shut my window actually. That was fun. Good morning. Um, had a lot of rain down um, this way lately, down sort of Berkshire area. And um, there's been some lovely puddles about. So, as you see, I've just gone through that flood. Just, um, for a lot of I think it's just flooded all the fields around there, it's all spilled out onto the roads. Um, we had, what was it, last week had a ridiculous amount of rain in one morning, I was living in Woodley, I went through this one puddle, it was literally about 150, 200 metres long, and um, like all across my side of the road, probably about foot deep, maybe, no, maybe not. Half of it, probably. I went through it, I went through it about 30 miles an hour. Aquaplaned all the way through it, mind. And um, needless to say, if it wasn't for the curb, I would have been straight off into, into people's gardens. Because as soon as I went into it, it was just aquaplaned, it just went straight into the curb, so there was nothing I could do about it. But fortunately, the curb was there, and not a ditch. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and uh, as I was going through that, there was so much water going through um, the underside of the van that um, it forced the steps down on the back that we used to get into the back of the van. As, I, as I'm halfway through it, there's this bang! I'm like, what the hell was that? Not known if I, whether I'd gone over like a, a raised drain or something with all the water coming up through the drains. So I pulled, pulled it over after I'd gone through it, and um, back steps were down, but that didn't have me worried for a minute. I was expecting to get round and um, have like both punctures on the near side and rims bent and all this sort of shit. It wasn't, so I put the steps back and carried on. So yeah, it was good fun. But it's not too bad now. Um, yeah, as I said in um, the bit of video just then, I've uh, got three interviews lined up for next week um, for ACV jobs um, which I've been looking for for ages now past my Arctic in to February and it's June now and I still haven't got a job and I've just been applying crazily everywhere but I finally got three interviews, I've waited all this time to get interviews and um I finally get three in one week. The one's for QTR transport, which I've got tomorrow morning at 10. Um, and then I've got Kuna Nagel at Thatcham, which I've. Uh, I can go to the time that she had organised for me, so I rearranged it, but I don't know what time that is yet or when, so you get to hear back on that one. And um, the other one is um, for Gist Logistics in Thatcham. Uh, well, M&S really, but it's run by Just Logistics, 
and that's next Wednesday. Um, so yeah, hopefully I won't be driving these poxy vans anymore. I say poxy, I do like them. It's been a good job, but I've outgrown it now, onto bigger and better things. So yeah. Anyway, I shall carry on doing my deliveries now, before I'm late. Doodles! Hang on, you gotta look like a tick in front of the cow. <laughs> I think that's her dad. Probably. Oh, I ain't doing that's that. That's boring. I ain't doing that one. <laughs> well and truly fine. I'll do this one then. <laughs> you can't reach it! It's a stretch to your seatbelt. Seatbelt safe today. Is that going to go flying? I go to the bed, right? And then you can throw out the window. <laughs> go to the bed, you can throw out the window. Are we all ready to go? Yes, all okay, aboard. Let's go. <laughs> It's just so crap, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's this one. Yes, well you have, so carry on. Oh, that's good. The challenge I've given to Chris is to get up of here without hitting a curb or a car. I bet you, you're going to film the curb. So that I can't see it. Oh, there's a curb. Yeah, I'm in the gutter, I'm in the gutter. I'm not up it, I'm not up it, don't worry. There's a tree. What was that? You're a git. Oh, okay, thanks. Not the people of YouTube, just Ed. Yes, I am no friend of Chris's at all. Yeah. I think he's an arsehole. Yes, I will be able to look at it. Join the <laughs> list. I couldn't care. Well, Chris successfully failed that. Failed. Hello. It's raining. Um, one of the drivers said to me the other day that... Um, and this is quite a good example of how buggered these vans are. Um, so you can switch the van on, which it is now, and then take the key out. Um, but it's still running, you can still drive it fine. So I um, thought I'd <laughs> give it a try. Right, so that is running. You can see that, 800 RPM. So that is run it, running. And it's true. Key. Right. So that should be off. And it's still running. Let's see if it goes in gear. Yeah. So that is driving now without any key in it. That's hilarious. And I'm going to go fill them up now. And I'm done.